Hello everyone. So today, um, Prefer left for Cleveland, and I'm just here to say, like, was it completely Prefer's fault that you know our kickers were inconsistent to say the least? And if there was one guy, you would kind of point to Ryan Ficken. And Ryan Ficken, he was a wide receiver coach for Minnesota back in 2009 through 2012. Now, in 2009, receiving, there was 4,400 yards, 11.7 average yards per catch, 275.2 receiving yards a game. They had 55 20-plus yard plays, 13 40-plus yard plays, and 34 touchdowns. Obviously, that was Favre's year where we had him. We were 12-4. Things were looking nice. 2010... 3,200 yards, 10.9 yards average, 207.9 yards per game, 47 on the 20-plus yard plays, only three 40-plus yard plays, and only 14 touchdowns. As some would say, well, quarterback was kind of rough after that, that 2009 year. Yes, but when you see full picture, because going to 2011, 3,200 yards, 54. 32.55 on the yards, 11.4 average, 203.4 yards per game receiving, 41 such 20-plus yard plays, 7 40-plus yard plays, 20 touchdowns, 2012, 2,935 yards, 9.8 average, 183.4 yards, 20-plus yard plays, there's 28 of such plays, and there was only 3 40-plus yard plays with 18 touchdowns. Now... The things you'll notice is the yards, total yardage, goes down every year from 2009 to 2012. And then you have yards per game also going down, obviously, from 275.2 to his last year doing it in 2012, going all the way down to 183.4. And the only time his averages go up is from 10.9 to 11.4, and then after that they drop down to 9.8. Most of these just continue to go down. 20 plus yard plays go from 55 to 47 to 41 to 28. And once again, the only one that went up was in 2011 in the 40 plus yard plays, which is 13, 3, and then it went going 7, 3. And you kind of sense a trend here. And then they made him a special teams assistant from 2013 to now. And in field goal percentages, in 2013 they made 87%, 2014 74.2%, 87% in 2015, another 87% in 2016, 84% in 2017, and this year if you round up it's up to 69%. Now, starting from 2015 on the extra points, it's when they moved it back. 89%, 79%, 87%, and this year with Dan Bailey, he only missed one, which was cool. So 97.2% there. Punting, the average from 2013 was 22nd in terms of just average yards per punt in terms of how far it traveled. And so it goes 22nd in 2013, 14th in 2014, then down to 32nd in 2015, 29th in 2016, 2017 it was 32nd, 2018 it was 17th. Now, net average, which is probably more important anyway, they were 18th, 19th, 30th, 25th, 28th, and 9th. 25th in terms of in the 20 in 2013. This is just how they ranked, by the way. In how many times they got into the 20, they were 25th, then they were 25th again in 2014, 2015, 23rd, 2016, they were actually 5th in that, then they were 10th, and now this past season, they were 15th. Touchbacks, which lower the number, the better here, because obviously you'll rank lower in terms of that if you have less that go into the end zone, and they were 26th in 2013, 2014, they are 10th. 13th in 2015, 2016 they were 23rd, 32nd in 2017, and 29th in 2018. So they really only struggled at in that one in two years. But is it really that coincidental that we had a guy who 
you know, we kind of struggle with our receivers, as the numbers say. And then when you kind of dive a little bit more deeply into it, you go into, well, who are our receivers? Well, Sidney Rice was there in 2009. He left after that. Everyone probably knows that. But we also failed to develop some guys. And by that, I mean we also, like there are some younger players like Devin Aroma should do, who kind of like every once in a while he he had decent talent. Was he gonna be a great player? Probably not, but he shouldn't have been out of the league like we made him out of the league when that happened. Greg Camarillo and Bernard Berrien kind of go into the same category of they were decent players when we got them, and by the end of it, once again they were unrosterable. And Percy Harvin, to some extent, never really fully developed. And who was the re- one of the receiver coaches? Ryan Ficken. And that was the only receiver that was even constant throughout that time. There were, everything else was a revolving door. And then the last time we had a Pro Bowl kicker? Blair Walsh, 2012. When Ryan Ficken came on? 2013. So how coincidental is it that, you know, right when he goes into special teams assistant, we start to see uh, some kicking struggles. Now, obviously, some of this goes on Prefer, no matter what. He was the special teams coach. He was the overall special teams coach. He should have addressed this pretty much immediately if this was the problem indeed. But at the same time, where there's smoke, there is normally fire. It's kind of smoky in the room from Ficken, in my mind anyway. (coughs) Sorry. But I would like to know what you guys think. Obviously, not all of it is Ficken's fault or Prefer's fault. Like, this was a combination effort that this, you know, the kicking ended how it did. But I would like to know what you guys think down in the comments below, whether or not this is maybe grasping at straws or what have you. But, um... Yeah, till next time, I bid y'all adieu.